way to stand. Thankful for everybody that's here tonight. I'm thankful. I'm very thankful and I'm excited for this message. We get to talk about dating and we get to talk about from a biblical perspective because our view shouldn't look like the world's view. We should look at dating through the lens of Jesus in ways in, in which that will honor him. Not please our flesh, you know, but to please God. Because if our life isn't about us, there's nothing that we do in life is about us. It's about Christ and Christ alone. So everybody bow your heads, let us pray. <coughs> Dear my Heavenly Father, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for the fact that you are Emmanuel, that you are God with us. I thank you for the fact that you are Jehovah Shalom. The Lord is there. You are wherever we need you to be. You're with us. You're with our loved ones and in, in, in our home countries. You're wherever we need you to be. Father God, I pray. <laughs> I pray that tonight that we don't miss our opportunity to draw closer. I pray that you shift our heart posture right now, Father God, to receive this message that's not for me, but a message that comes from you. I pray that you stir the hearts and the minds of every person in this room. Because if we come here and we leave the same people that walked in, Lord, it was a waste of time. But I'm praying, Father God, that we will fully embrace who we are and you. That we won't live our lives out of selfish ambition, Father God. That we won't live our lives based off of our flesh, based off of our sinful nature, Father God, based off of our feelings. But I pray that we will live our lives as offerings, Father God, as living sacrifices that are holy and pleasing to you. Because that is our true and proper worship, Father God. Please change us. Please renew us. Please refine us. Please prune us, Father God. The comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. Nothing ever grows there. So whatever the adversity is, give us the courage to face it. To face it head on and to consider it pure joy. I'm praying that we win our relationships, Father God. And I pray that we do relationships that honor you. That we live lives that honor you because nothing in our life matters except what we do for you. So I pray in this moment. As we praise your holy name, we give you all the credit and the honor that is due you. Because you're not just good, you are perfect. So let our hearts truly believe that. Let our hearts truly know that. And let us truly walk in that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So we're going to sing the first song that I sent you before. Uh, we're going to be singing four songs today. So I think that everybody knows the song. I guess. Um, the first song is Only Jesus, the link I sent to the group. And then I have decided to follow Jesus. And what a beautiful name it is. And finished by um, So Beautiful from John Lino, Magic City.
Are you sure? Oh, should we continue just? We should like we can continue. Okay. Yeah, we can. Somebody can grab it. Uh, Inside 
promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness, your faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. You never Still in your hands, this is my 